All right, welcome back to day five of your online sales process. Today we're gonna to be talking about headlines or hook points. Really depends just on who you're reading or what you wanna call it. Today we have five tactics that we're gonna go over. I'm also gonna throw in call to action on this one because it just doesn't make sense to make a whole video on calls to action, although you need to have calls to action uh, depending on what you're, if it's an ad, then you need to have it very clear. If it's a page, you need to have it very specific. Um, on every time you can see it. You need to have that floating in multiple places on the page. Anyway, two books that I want you to, actually three books that we're gonna talk about in this video. The first book is Hook Point. I don't know the name of the author, but basically the book talks about how a hook point or a headline can change the world. $5 foot long, just do it. Um, have it your way. All of these headlines that we've heard over the years are hook points phenomenal and they change the world for us. The second one is $100 million offers or offer the $100 million offer. Um, it's the guy from Gem Launch. He wrote the book. It's really, really good. And it talks about how to create the right offer that will sell your headline and your offer need to kind of match, right? They, they, you, you can't have, if you have a great offer, your headline becomes a lot easier, like $5 foot long, right? It, the headline is the offer which makes a whole lot of sense. The third book is How to Lie with Statistics. This book was written in the 30s. One of these tactics that we use is uh, an interesting statistic. So we're gonna just go over the strategies really quick or tactics. The first tactic is a question, right? Do you want a, put an exciting word in there, way to X, Y, or Z? So we're gonna stick with our yoga explanation here, right? So do you want a, affordable way to get fit? Do you want a fun and exciting way to be more limber? Do you want a community, a community that will keep your mindset straight and, and move you forward, right? So the, all these things under the yoga, if I was um, selling a gym, very similar stuff. If I was selling tires or roofs, it would be, do you want a, an affordable solution to save your life? Or do you want an affordable solution to save gas mileage if I was selling tires, right? So just different stuff like that. Uh, kick these around. I, I think that through all of these tactics, you should try, you should go through every one of them. Every time you're trying to sell something, go all through all of these different tactics, fill them out, do your best, change them up probably use all of them in your first campaign and then see which ones are working better. Take those out and put more gas on the ones that work better and the ones that don't work good, take them out. The second tactic for a headline is some kind of crazy statistic. Nine out of 10 um, yoga enthusiasts don't exercise properly are you one of them or don't know the lotus or don't know the cobra or something silly like that right um or nine out of ten yoga experts don't breathe properly are you one of them right so that would be the yoga uh nine out of ten people are driving on bald tires are you one of them right Th those kinds of things uh so some kind of crazy statistic this is where the book how to lie with statistics will come in very handy. You know your industry, you know your business, come up with whatever your statistics are and move forward. For me, a big one is nine out of 10 businesses never recover from a data breach if they don't have good backups, right? It's a, it's a, good, it's a good crazy statistic for me. Um, and it just, it, it's an easy way to create your headline. Third tactic is a curious statement. How do you get blank without blank? How do you get fit without exercise or diet? How do you um, increase gas mileage without modifying your motor? How do you keep your family safe at night without spending a fortune? Uh, maybe that would be an alarm company, right? So all these different things. These are just templates for you to use. Throw as many of these together as you possibly can. Weed them out with your team and come up with the best headlines that you think will work for your audience. My favorite is an unpopular opinion. I love Apple is, or Android is better than Apple. Adidas is better than Nike. Um, Popeyes is better than Chick-fil-A. 
I love all of those. And you just tick into your, into your niche, right? For this, if it was the yoga, I would say yoga is better than dance. And this is why, um, it more, you know, helps you with fit, fitness and stuff like that. I, I would just play with those as much as possible. Come up with as many fun ones as you can. It's a, it's a fun exercise. I take these sheets, I put them out in front of the team and we just brainstorm for a couple of hours at a time. This is a great thing to do at Friday night with a couple of cocktails if your company allows that. Tactic number five, an irresistible incentive. For all fitness studios, any kind of studio, a free experience or some kind of major discount on the experience is a home run. For gyms and studios, I always tell them the easiest way to get sales, I think, is either a three-day pass or a two-week pass. I like the two-week pass the best because it just removes the sales cycle completely. If somebody comes in and they commit to two weeks and they use your facility for two weeks and they absolutely love it and you create a great environment, they generally just sign up. It is, it's a very, very high turnover rate on, or very, very high conversion rate for the people that use it. And it's an easy, easy sale, right? You can give away these two week passes or three day passes at will and just massively get people into your facility for the two week passes and then convert them into members. I think it's, to me, it's the hands down easiest way to sell new memberships to studios, fitness studios, or anything along those lines. Um, if it's a tires, right? The tire guys are always buy four, get your fifth one free, um, free mounting and balancing, right? All of these different tactics. Um, right now in the housing industry, they're saying, you know, get your free appraisal, um, you know, guaranteed uh, some kind of uh, guaranteed financing, right? For if you got a credit card, credit score above 600. All of those kinds of things. An irresistible incentive, something that you know that your audience wants that you can give them. Now, on, on the flip side of that, you can also use this to try to get them in on the sale, but you can also do this just for lead generation or contact generation. I remember one gym that we did, we gave away a Bose uh, pill, right? It was a Bluetooth Bose speaker, and it was basically just a Bluetooth speaker. We did the ad, get a free Bluetooth speaker, fill out this form below, bam. Everybody that fill out the form, Somebody won the Bose speaker, but everybody that filled out the form got a second place prize of a two week pass to the gym that we were doing. It was a huge amount of leads for very, very cheap because we were giving away a Bose speaker. Lots of people signed up for that to get that Bose speaker. Every one of them got a two week pass and it was a very, very affordable way to get a bunch of two week passes into people's hands. All right. So those are your five tactics when you're coming up with headlines. There's there's all kinds of different headlines you can do, but these are the five most popular, the easiest to, to, to execute on, and they're intended to give you ideas on how to grow, right? You gotta think outside the box on all of these things. These are just guidelines and helping you create a process for your sale, online sales process. Last one's call to action. This is really simple. If you're creating a Facebook ad, you're kind of restricted. You can't really tell them you know, what to do, but if you're on the landing page, right, where you want them to take that action, I'll send you, I'll ship you, I'll save you, what you're going to do for them. I will send you this USB drive filled with all my tips and tricks, um, or I will send you this white paper or ship you um, a free dozen cupcakes. I'll save you X number of dollars on whatever project you're doing. That's it for today's show, folks. I hope you had a little bit of value in this. I hope it helps you out. If it didn't, let me know. I can, you know, maybe uh, if you're struggling with headlines and hook points, happy to jump on a call with anybody and kind of work through those things. Again, the three books. Um, the first one is Hook Point, great, great book. Second one, $100 million offers. I recommend not only getting the ebook, but also getting the physical book because there's some worksheets in that $100 million offer and some kind of graphs that you want to see with your eyes and you can't see that in the audio book. And that was a bit of a challenge for me. So I actually read that one and listened to it and it's really, really good. And the third one is how to lie with statistics. It's a little dry, but a lot of fun. And it might give you some ideas on how to do better statistics and get your results oriented headline out of the way. That's it for today. Get to work.